It's always nice to start a journey by placing the tools you have around you, which you plan to use. I find it one of the most calming things to just lay them out and see who, what it is that I'll be holding today and that would be guiding my path ahead. Once that's clear, I look for the center on the sheet of paper in front of me. It might not really be the center of the sheet, but it will be a center that will make me feel centered within myself. Once that's found, I start creating with a line. A line that comes from the dot. And the line that becomes my guide for my circle. This is the circle that marks the beginning of coming into this world. I start creating with four circles for this piece. Each circle marks the four elements, earth, water, fire and air. The center circle marks the entry into this realm, the beginning of the journey. And the four circles that I create mark that what we are born with within ourselves. As Rumi says, there is a universe within us. So all that we see outside of us is that what is within us. And so with that thought, I start creating this piece representing the four elements and folding themselves as, as my hands start dancing on the sheet of paper. Once the four circles come into life is when I join the intersection points, creating the first square. I call it the scene square. This is the square that marks the physical world. The world that we come into, the world that makes us stand on it. The world that makes us go through many, many, many journeys, meeting different people in the physical realm. It helps us to grow, helps us to stand, and it helps us to transition to the next realm. It is the scene square. The diagonal lines intersect, cutting through the center to the different intersections. And they mark the experiences that happen right, left, from everywhere. And we have to live through them. This is the foundation square. This is what we stand on. As we look closely, there's always something unseen. Joining the inner dots, we unfold another square. This is the unseen square within the seen one. One can't exist without the other. And so together they make our world. The world of the seen and the world of the unseen. Both we need to move forward in life to understand what we stand for, 
to gain stability. For it is our foundation. It is the birth, the beginning. It is the earth. As we color the squares in, in colors, whatever reminds us of earth, stability, peace, Within us, the element of earth gets channeled and we start recognizing our own strength that we are born with. And then comes the phase of water, water that always flows, water that reminds us of change water that's represented by circles when we're stable and we recognize the change the star comes to life the star that is the fire within us that what we are meant to do here and air Air is what happens when we allow ourselves to breathe freely, consciously. It has no form, nothing that can hold it. It flows, it becomes, and it is what surrounds the moon, and it is what surrounds you. It is what surrounds us all. A world we created might not be the world we love, might not be what we need. And so we let it all go. One piece at a time, one experience at a time. How can the past define us? How can we let it define us? How can we hold on to people who are no more there? How can you not move forward? With questions that ponder in your head, you tear one piece at a time to make it reach nothing. To make it be nothing. For creativity is not always about the outer. And showing something or having something to show. It is always about what happens within you when you create. That is more important. As I tear the pieces, I feel pain. I feel brokenness. I feel that what is within me is coming to life. I know I can't be alone in this. I know you are with me. I know you feel the pain too. Pain. That we no need to shut away or run away from. Pain can be what gives us freedom. Every tear has a sound, has a feeling. Every person that came into your life gave you something and then left. 
For your story is not theirs, and theirs isn't yours. To love them is okay, but to attach yourself to them is not. Tearing the pieces makes it real, makes it physical, makes you see it all, feel it. When that what you are living starts giving you pain, it's because your creator is making the move. It is he who's tearing you apart. It is he who's getting you ready for your next phase. It is he who's making you nothing from that what you thought you are. The sound of tearing, the movement of your hands, the pain you feel in your heart, the pieces that you see increasing in front of you, is all you, is all you. Doing this makes it more real. You become forgiving towards yourself when you see what you're going through. tiny pieces that you hold within you need to be gone for if you hold them too tight too long they make you heavy they won't let you fly for they do want to fly free themselves, be something new, or maybe nothing, but then can it be possible that they can be nothing, for if you mix them in water they will become pulp, you mix them in ground they will become earth, you burn them in fire they become ashes, you fly them in the air, and over time they will vanish. But will they be nothing? Or will it be that what it's meant to be? By holding them on, you are holding yourself and those you love. Let yourself be free. Let yourself be alive. For if you carry within you the dead particles of the past, you won't be able to move forward. Give yourself the permission to tear apart every piece into tiny, tiny bits. You created this piece. You created this life. You chose this experience and now it's time. It's time to understand that it might be the best that you've done. Might be the place where you give it all you could. But there is more to you. There is more to you. And to find that out, you have to break them. It will hurt. It will cause you pain. But this pain is what will free you. Free you from the trap. Trap of your mind. It's trapped your soul for way too long and it's time for it to be gone. 
for you to feel alive again, for you to forgive yourself again, for you to understand that no matter what happens you are born with the universe within you. You within you have the solid earth that keeps making you come back and stand up steady. You within you have the water within that what reminds you of change, growth and letting go. You within you have the fire, the star, for that is where you came from. You within you will be nothing from everything, for that is everything, because it's no more anything. Let go of yourself now with me, for together we can, we can become that what we're meant to.